Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Clara Z and I do videos on luxury handbags and fashion items. So today I was at the Hermes Autumn Winter Fashion Show showing their ready to wear for the Autumn Winter 2022 season. And since they did touch up my makeup a little bit, I decided why don't I just quickly film what I picked up from the Autumn Winter season. So let's get started. And at the end, I'll talk a bit about the fashion show that event slash that I went to but I wanted to share just a couple of things that I picked up in case you're looking for items to pick up from the fall winter collection so let's get started so the first item I picked up were these Paris loafers so some of you may know or already have a pair of these basically Hermes loafers for me are pretty comfortable and these came out in a new color so the color of these are known as pale rose and and I'm not sure if the color is showing up properly. However, it is a pale pink and it has hints of beige and gray and at some angles it has a slight purpley color but it is a true pale rose color and they look almost beige or white so these are great for the summer. The next item I picked up was actually a t-shirt from the menswear line and I decided to give this to my husband although this would also fit me and it's in a really nice material. You can see it's just a plain black t-shirt and what I really like is that there is hardly any logo. You can see there is a very small H here but basically if you're wearing this you really can't see any logo. I really like the material on this t-shirt so if you're just looking for a simple basic t-shirt for yourself or for your spouse or other half this does make a lovely gift and it is at a pretty reasonable price for a luxury t-shirt and I really like the material on this. So the third item I picked up was in this box and if you can tell from the box it is a scarf so let me open this. So this is known as the selfie scarf and this is in the 90 by 90 silk. You can see that there. And the reason why it's called the selfie scarf is that you can see that she's doing a selfie with the camera here. Isn't that cute? So I plan to wear this over a crisp white shirt or a black shirt and you can see that this drapes over very nicely. And this comes in a variety of beautiful pastel colors but I like that this one has really sharp contrasting colors so it stands out a bit more on say a white shirt. So there's the back and there's the front and of course there are multiple ways to wear a scarf i'm not a scarf expert i'm sure there are other youtubers that do it better but i really like how this just drapes just over the shoulder just like that just very simple nicely dressed and i can wear a jacket over this with just a little bit protruding on the side so this is a very pretty scarf so from the ready to wear department i did pick up something a bit earlier i did pick up a dress which i will show you a picture somewhere here in this video it is a very elegant and comfortable dress and it's something i can wear all the time for work as you know it's quite hot in hong kong so i do tend to wear dresses quite often and so this one is perfect for work. In terms of other ready to wear that I picked up today from the fashion show, I actually picked up two cardigans because it doesn't really get too cold in Hong Kong. It does get cold and I do travel so I don't tend to purchase a lot of autumn winter type of clothes but occasionally I like to pick up some cardigans because it's always a little chilly. There's always too much AC blowing indoors and I picked up this really beautiful cardigan as you can see here and I will try to put pictures from the Hermes website somewhere so you can see what it looks like on the model but what I really like is that it is very monotone and it does have detailing and I really love the neckline here it's slightly a bit higher so it's a little different from some of the other cardigans I have so that buttoned up it looks really nice. The other cardigan that I picked up I didn't see on the website but my essay brought this out for me. If I can find it on the website I will try to show it somewhere here in this video but basically it is this perforated cardigan and you can see 
maybe it shows up better with my hand underneath that there are little holes underneath so if you're wearing a white shirt underneath it should show through but this one is a bit more slim cut but I really like that the material is quite thin and so I should be able to wear this throughout the year and this is just really easy to roll up and throw in a bag in case I need to go out and want to carry something light. So the last item I picked up was this Radiant Glow Powder from Hermes. I believe this is a new release and it's a bit of a highlighter and I thought it looked really nice. So here is the Hermes packaging for the highlighter. It opens up and there's a mirror on one side and here is the highlighter. Let me just do a quick swatch on my arm. So I don't know if this will show up properly. Maybe it doesn't. Let me just do a second swatch over. So maybe it's showing up more now, but it's a beautiful highlight. Definitely, I will be able to use that maybe along my eye and my cheekbone areas just to add a bit of radiance to the face. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the Hermes fashion show. It's the first time I've ever been to an Hermes fashion show. I've been to a couple of other fashion shows like Chanel, LV, and a couple of other brands and they tend to do their fashion shows before they release the items but apparently Hermes is different. They do the fashion show kind of after they have launched their ready-to-wear or towards the beginning of the time that they launch it but usually it's already launched and then they show you the clothes so it's a little different because the other fashion shows is like six months ahead of time and the Hermes one is actually after they launch the clothes in the store. So despite being the official fashion show like you see online and in other places six months before, the ones that are in the local store are actually at the actual launch of the clothes. But it's kind of funny because like I said, some of the clothes I already bought before the fashion show, but there, I guess there just tends to be more around the beginning or during the fashion show. So basically what happened was I was escorted into the store and in different parts of the store, they had seating areas where they had maybe around eight or 10 models walking around in their latest ready to wear. And based on what you see on the models, you can order what they're wearing or you can walk around the shop and see if there's other ready to wear that you like. So compared to other fashion shows that I've been to, I know they don't show the entire selection, but they do only show a very small portion of what was actually at the fashion show but I guess it gives you a close-up view on some of the items and on the same floor they had multiple dressing rooms so you can go in and try different items and I found that sizes were pretty good so generally they would have sizes in the items that you liked and I was able to pick up the two cardigans now like I said I generally will only buy what I will actually use and like and for this season because it's so hot in Hong Kong I only picked up the two cardigans and the dress I showed you before and the t-shirt for my husband. I generally prefer to buy more spring summer because it's just more appropriate for the weather here. So in addition to the miniature fashion show, they did have an event going on on a different floor and on that different floor you would be able to try on their clothes from the current collection and pick a bag to take pictures with and they do offer makeup touch-up service and hence the tiny touch-up they did for my face. They had an area where you could try on their nail polish and they had one area for photo taking and one area where they had some sort of a boom camera where they take a photo of you at different angles and I will try to put clips and photos of the photos they sent back to me but for both photos I was trying on one of their dresses and I was able to choose from a couple of bags to which I could take pictures with. So of course I picked the picnic bag and of course the super cute Kelly doll. I'm telling you that bag is so cute. Anyways I had a chance to hold it which was already a really happy experience and I'm so glad I went to the event because if I hadn't gone I think the highlight for me was holding on to that Kelly doll bag. It was so cute and so adorable. It was a pretty interesting event for me. Not only was it 
trying on some of their stuff and going to the event but of course I really enjoyed seeing what other people were wearing and what kind of bags they had as you know not all Hermes bags are generally visible everywhere around the store and when you go to these events you do see a lot of their other clients and the nice bags that they own and so you can get a general sense of what the bags are what they look like and how they look modeled which to me was probably the highlight in addition to the Kelly doll shot so I hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't done so already please feel free to like and subscribe and you can also follow me on Instagram I will put my handle somewhere here down below and if you'd like to support my channel you can also buy me a coffee I will put links down in the description box somewhere down below I wish you a fabulous day and we'll see you next time bye bye now Thank you.